All right, it's Christmas City Girl Homestead back again. I'm a busy little beaver today. <laughs> anyway, so we're back to doing stuff for my kids this Christmas. So the next thing I'm going to make is peanut butter brownie mix in the jar. So the first thing that we need to do is a cup of packed brown sugar. And this, I think, is going to be scrumptious. Not very nutritious, <laughs> but it'll be fun. And the only thing they got to add to it after we get done is two eggs, half a cup of butter melted, and a teaspoon of um, vanilla. Not bad, eh? And they'll have 16 brownies. I'd say that's pretty good. And when they get home from work, they can make something really quick and... I think all the girls have those kitchen aids too, so that might even make it a little bit quicker. I'm not sure if they do or not, but I think they do. I know Courtney's got one. We'll see here. You know, I just figured out how to get to make sure that they eat these up. I'll tell AJ there's cookies in every jar. <laughs> Bad grandma, isn't it? I know. <laughs> but if it's not a bad grandma once in a while, then what's the point to it, right? So then we need a half a cup of white sugar. I mean, you can use whatever sugar you guys use, I guess. I don't care. Whatever suits you well. Trying not to put these big old chunks in there. We don't want that. All right, so there's one half cup. These, if nothing else, they're going to look beautiful in the jar. <laughs> I know last year that, um, I know that Courtney and Bobby used a few of the things. I'm not sure about, I think Christopher used a few things. I don't know if Nate did. But I told him what my idea was this year. And he was liking it, so it must be they did. <laughs> but they don't give back the jars. They just don't understand. What if I run out of jars? Then you can't have the brownie mix no more. Guess that's how that works, huh? <laughs> All right. Then we're going to need a third cup of cocoa. Let's find my third cup. No, that's not the one. There we go. Third cup of cocoa. And this one always makes such a mess. Because it's so fluffy and powdery. So I always end up wearing more of it than anything. And I don't want to put it in too big of a container because I don't use it that often other than, you know, at Christmas time and stuff. So you hate to have it all, you know, sitting out when you don't need it. I'm going to clean that up before I have it all over my floor, which I probably will anyway, but that's okay. All right. Now, I'm going to tamp these down a little bit. For all of you that don't like that on their jars, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do a cup of peanut butter chips. peanut butter chips and this shows you just exactly how fast I mean you can put together all this stuff now we need a cup of flour so back over to the big beluga here Jack always tells me didn't we just fill that and I'm like yeah the difference is Jack you don't cook <laughs> he don't bake unless he's here he doesn't yeah so when you cook and bake and stuff, it, you know, 
takes up space. We're definitely going to have to shake these down because they're getting full. Let's hope they all fit. And everything fits in them. Because they're looking pretty full. So there's the flower. Well, it didn't want to go on all the way. What the heck? All right, so I think what I'm going to do now, since they're getting pretty full, and we need to put quite a bit more in there, I'm going to put the lid on it now. And that way I can really shake it. space. That really takes up the room. I seen somebody do something. Let me try that. How oh, that works. Let's see here. If it'll even fit in the jar. Oh, that might work. Look at that, you guys. Use the end of your meat cleaver or another thing and push it right down. Wow. That really does free up some space. Let's see with that one since I haven't pounded it down yet. You, of course, wouldn't want to push too hard because you want to crush all the, um, the chips and stuff in it. Wow. Look at that, it did make quite a bit of room. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is, <coughs> excuse me, half a teaspoon of baking powder. <coughs> I just got a dry thing in my throat. Just double check to make sure it was powder, not soda. <laughs> really don't know what the big difference is between the two, but I imagine there's something. All right, and then we need a quarter teaspoon of salt. red squirt here and my throat is like really dry so <clears throat> ruby red squirt heals everything <laughs> I love it all right now we're gonna do a half a cup of chocolate chips I'm glad I ordered more chocolate chips I'll tell you. It's hard to believe that a five pound bag or whatever it is is almost gone. <laughs> but you know when you're doing stuff for Christmas and Thanksgiving and everything else it goes pretty quick. That's what I have left out of that great big old 92 ounce jar I think is what it is. Alright and then it asks for a half a cup of walnuts. I'm going to show you when I get done with this how I store my walnuts so that they last and they don't get rancid. I do have some in the freezer, but I'll show you what I do. Because if you get a chance to get them on sale, do it. You know what I mean? Because nuts are expensive. So when I get them, I like to make sure that I preserve them so that they'll last for a long time. But that should be with anything that you buy, though, you know what I mean? 
So if you notice, I dated them, 422, and it says walnuts on them. And now what I'll do is I'll take this back over to my um, air absorber thingy. <laughs> I always forget what it's called. And suck the air back out of it before I put it, you know, before I put these back away. And now that I've opened them, I'll probably keep them in the um, freezer here with the other nuts that I have. But go ahead and suck all the air out of them so that, you know, it lasts a long time. Air is a big time, oh, yeah, it really ruins your food. Air and light. So you want it careful and heat and the temperature. Yeah, you can get it too cold or you can get it too hot. So, so there we go. We've got the peanut butter brownie, and I've got the label on there, what it's going to do. And I think the nuts are good to be on top, because if somebody doesn't want nuts, they can pull them out. But isn't that a beautiful color? All of that. All the pretty colors to mix together. I love it. And all the chocolate. <sighs> Cocoa and chips. And the peanut butter chips, too. So, you know, um, do one or all of these. You know what I mean? Put together some little packages for your kids. Let them know that they were made with love and that you thought about them and you love them. And that's why you made the stuff for them. So, you guys have a very blessed day. Be a blessing to someone. And I hope this is helpful for you when you get to start doing your Christmas stuff. Have a great day.